Hello everybody, how are we? My name is Unicorn Pondu. Welcome back to another video. And I know what you're saying. Uh, why are you confused? Well, um, I don't know what's going on. Chantal is, you know, she has her camera off. She's calling this like a podcast with herself, which I mean, I guess she could technically, but it has like live chat on screen and like alerts from people donate. I have no idea what she's doing. I think she's kind of taking everything from everywhere and kind of combining it into one. And I'm a bit confused by it, but I, if I skip around even more than usual, I'm sorry, but like I've seen a few minutes. It's not super great to say the least. But I guess with that being said, let's, I guess here, because she doesn't have her camera on or we can't really see anything but this photo of a lobby, what Chantal has to say today, shall we? I, I, I don't know what to expect. With a bunch of hellos, Candace, Carolyn, I need a sound check from you guys. So please um, let me know if it's okay. Everyone. Yeah, and she has no idea what she's doing. Wonderful. And also, girl, again, another microphone. I mean, it could be worse, but like at the same time, it could be so much better. We're at the Overlook Hotel, yes. So pick your rooms. But I just suggest that you stay out of room 237 because there is a creepy witch decaying in the bathtub, okay? So I have a lot of talk to talk about. And actually, um, Brooke, you're never happy with my content. What do you want to see? How can we make Brooke happy? Hearts in the chat for Brooke. Tian Sass already booked room 237. Uh, I'm not going to pick on Tian Sass because I see that she's not doing well. And uh, she has a cute cat now, so I'm going to be nice. Hi, Vamp Diva. What's happening? <laughs> well, okay. So, um, what's happening is... Trigger me, Elmo. Hello. What is this? Okay. So, um, all right, guys. So, this is the Beezing Hour podcast. It's basically just a live stream. <laughs> I'm streaming from the laptop because I'm more comfortable in bed right now as I'm healing. And I figure for this, it's better to cam off so I can be ultimately comfortable and not have to show you my private room. So, that is why I'm off camera right now, okay? So... Um, yeah, so I have some things to talk about, um, and, uh, it's just, yeah, it's just gonna be, like, talking to you guys, I don't know, I'm thinking of, like, doing more interesting streams, I've never used Streamlabs before, you know, so, of course, I had help setting it up, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, uh, this is very, like, and also, she's on his laptop, mm hmm basic, I can't even figure out how to get rid of the background on my little avatar picture <laughs> i would have liked to have put myself okay well that's not like a streamlabs issue that's quite literally like an image issue you go into photoshop and do it yourself in behind the desk so i'll have to figure out how to be more creative um so all right th this is just a trial stream you guys can leave suggestions whatever and i can try to make it more entertaining for you because right now this is like the content i'm most comfortable making with my bedbound series and i'm not joking i literally okay so what i'm gonna start with first is health updates so um a regular schedule. Yeah, that's true. So a podcast will have a regular schedule and can be anything. I'm doing a butt day sitting on I mean, it. will she actually stick to it? Probably not because it's Chantal effort. She couldn't even be bothered to do a reaction style, I don't know, video like one. I mean, she's doing this, but I guess only time will tell to see if she actually sticks with it, which I, I have a feeling that she won't. Um, so health updates. So I today, the Celebrex was not working. Okay, so at all. My pain is increasing. And now I have numbness all down my leg. Like, I can't feel a lot of my whole leg. It's like really, it's numb, okay? So. Okay, so instead of having that checked out, instead of, I don't know, going to an emergency room, because of someone of your a size, that's really kind of scary. I mean, she did go have it looked at, yada, yada, yada. But especially if, like, your whole leg is now numb, I would be... I don't know, either calling emergency services or going to the emergency room just to make sure because that's really scary. I somehow, in the most excruciating pain... Hey, Jessica. Hi. <laughs> Here's Chantal. <laughs> don't assume it's sciatica only. Well, no, I'm, I'm going to have to have like other tests done. But for now, um, what we're trying is I somehow got my butt to the clinic. Um, I was like, bismillah, bismillah, you know, the whole way, like just please god help me i was in so much pain i had to get dressed in stages i had to like first roll off the bed that was painful go to the washroom which is torture um then i had to put my pants on lay down let the pain subside a bit get up and i i just i hate this because you know i told salah i'm like there is my hijab fell on the floor and i cannot bend to pick it up i had to wait for him to come home and get me get the hijab off the floor and you know it's not fun okay so um so I get to the... Yeah, remember when um, I was saying, like, this is scary? 
And, like, you should be definitely worried about, like, worst-case scenarios. This is what I was talking about. Like, we went from being completely fine going to walks to, like, not being able to pick off something off the floor overnight, pretty much. And this is why you definitely make sure that you keep your health at least semi-one check. The clinic. And I, I've heard people, you know, like, commenting that uh, people assuming that I'm going to run, you know, I, I make fun of Canada all the time. Um, I don't make fun of Canada, okay? Every country has its pros and cons. Um, doesn't mean that Canada's perfect, and it doesn't mean that, you know, that's not what I, what I say when I say I don't want to live in Canada. But they, they think that I'm going to run back to Canada and, and take advantage of the healthcare and be a burden on the system. But no, I have a visa here. You know, people don't believe that, but I have a visa here, and I'm able to access healthcare. So, so she has a visa, allegedly, of course. And if the story changes in a few months, well, we can look back on this and, you know, point out, like, no, you said you had a visa. For very cheap healthcare. So, like, the entire treatment I'm on, the entire visit was, like, 2KD, okay? Which is, like, pretty... That's what expats pay. So, um, what happened was I went to the clinic, and um, I, I was in tears. Like, I couldn't hold it in. I was... This pain brings me to tears, like a baby, Okay. So this looks ridiculous. Well, would you expect my attempt at a podcast to be any different? Like, <laughs> it's my first one. Go easy on me. Okay, so um, they, he just looked at me and like, you know, I must have looked pitiful. <laughs> and he wrote a prescription like right away. So basically everything is done in that same area. It's like a clinic hospital kind of thing. And I had to go to the, to the, to the treatment station and, you know, a bunch of nurses. I was so almost delirious in pain. I didn't even really know what they were talking about. And I just like, I had to like, I couldn't even sit. It's more comfortable to stand, and it's extremely painful to stand, but I cannot sit. So I stood up and kind of leaned against the gurney, and they injected me with a needle as long as the Sheik Jabber Bridge, or as long as the Wall of China. Hi, creepy! <laughs> into my right and into my left upper buttock, like, area. And uh, whatever it was, I don't know. <laughs> it instantly made my head light, and my heart raced so bad I thought I was going to throw up. So maybe some kind of, like, in steroid injection is what I'm guessing. Um... I <laughs> like amputation. I don't know. So this is the pain meds they're giving me is this injection. So I have to go every day for now for the next few days to get this injection. And also I have to take this cocktail of vitamins. And I think it's like B12 and something else. So part of the treatment is vitamins. So, um, yeah, I haven't been like officially diagnosed, but I told the doctor my symptoms. I said I, I talked to another doctor. They suggested Celebrex, but I'm probably going to have to get imaging done. You know, they're going to try this for now. Like the, right now, the pain management I, I really can only go to the clinic and lay down. I don't even know if I could get an x-ray right now. I, I can't. Like, I had to be wheelchaired back to the car. I thought I was going to pass out. It was so bad. It was so freaking bad. This is really scary. I hate to keep, like, bringing that up, but, like, we went from going on walks to essentially having to be toted around in a wheelchair from how much pain that she's in because of her own health. Girly, like, what are you doing? This is why people have been screaming at you. Go get professional help and quit trying to DIY your weight loss because something isn't working. So, I don't wish this pain on anyone, not even the people whose guts I hate on this platform. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hello, Blush. Hi, everybody. I missed here. Oh, you do wish that. That's really saying something about you. Mm -hmm. Here in Kuwait, we have great health care. Uh, Kelly James. Yes, the health care is, is pretty good, I would say, so far um, from what I've experienced. This is also the same woman that's pretty much only experienced Canadian healthcare also. <laughs> so <laughs> let me just tell you as an American citizen, you're doing quite well. You're doing you're doing great. You're doing fine. I promise you. Type of wheelchair, Applebee's. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, like I just want I'm like, I just want something for the pain, just something for the pain. Um, so, yeah. It's time to use it. I mean, no, not anything to like help fix it long term and to better her health. No, no, no. She wants to keep doing what she's doing, you know, eating, not exercising, yada, yada, yada. That's fine. That completely fine. I just need something for the pain. I'll be okay. Don't worry about it, ma'am. How I was feeling, honestly? No, um, I don't know. Messy, uh, messy girl. They, they compare like the life of an elderly, chronically ill cat to a human. They're sick in the head. What can I say? So <clears throat> I'm laying down. The best position that feels good for me, only my bed, because our bed is from Ikea, and it's very, it's very, very comfortable. And plush, the old bed we had was hard. Even the couch is too hard for me to lay on. I can't sit. I don't want to risk getting a flare-up again, like, right now. So the injection, actually, like, I felt the pain melting away, but I can still feel, like, a little twinge of pain if I move a certain way. So I don't, you know, I'm definitely gonna just not look forward to the pain coming back. 
but uh so yeah so for sure my my favorite position is just laying in bed and that's what i'm doing that's why this kind of content is ideal for me right now turkish coffee what is this it's my bed bound series anastasia i mean she googles at that now and laughs and think it's really cute tee hee girly this might be your downfall now of course i don't wish that on her but it's a possibility that it could like i said yesterday i'm honest to god shocked that like amber's ankle didn't do her in i mean she really hasn't even really improved that much but the fact that she can still go up and do things is shocking to me if if this actually is like the beginning of the end of this and like she's bed bound because um of her sciatica or whatever that ugh. i want to clarify on something um I see people like in my q and I don't know actually not my q and I don't know when it was that I made a comment about never truly I think it was I never truly lived alone I only lived with a smelly roommate okay people just this is okay this is just assuming but uh uh no Pete's does not smell okay it was do you guys remember I told you the story about that roommate I had that um my first roommate he listened to Avril Lavigne and he was horribly is this the guy that like she was living with as like a, I think a teenager and, she, and he would slurp noodles at like you know the butt crack of dawn or something? Is this the person that she's talking about? But like, girl, I'm pretty sure that you meant Pete's. I feel like everyone knows that you're talking about Pete's. Come on. Unhygienic and, um, but not just him. It was the fact that he would always buy garlic bologna <laughs> and he would leave his cold cuts open in the fridge. So whenever you open the fridge, the whole kitchen would smell like garlic bologna, and it was disgusting. Who? When? Where? And why? The girl, when? Have you- I've never heard her tell, like, like this story before. Never. Girl, you were talking about Pete's. Come on, we're not stupid. I mean, I might be a little bit to be fair with you, but, like, hey, if you can't be honest with yourself, who can you be honest with? Let that sink in. Anyways. <laughs> there is a made-for-TV shining in the 90s, and, um... Oh no, whoops. Oh gosh darn it, I skipped forward a lot. I'm so sorry about that. I guess we'll have to continue on. I'm so sorry. You, I feel bad for you actually at this point, Michael B. Smelly, sweaty, smelly, because you're stream because he's actually- And I could not have skipped to a better time. Let me go back and see what that was all about. Um, I was watching the Gaining Ground live stream because he's actually naturally funny and he's not um, a jerk. Sorry for the lack of a better term, but he's not a complete jerk. Like. A lot of these hate channels <clears throat> and he was talking about michael b smelly i didn't know this loser was still around and he was still coming for me like are you kidding you have issues if you're still freaking out on twitter like i just picture him punching the air in the middle of nowhere no one's listening <laughs> okay someone has an opinion about you on twitter oh no how dare you <laughs> oh gosh darn it <laughs> Okay, so Chantal's raging about somebody making comments about her on t Twitter now. So this is where <laughs> this is where we're gonna be redirecting anchor to. Okay, sh sure. To you, Michael B. Smelly. No one's listening to you. But this and also, of course, Chantal goes for Michael B. Smelly because she's so you know mature guys and she's such an adult. <laughs> does tempt me to make a twitter just to report all of the crappy hate twitter channels out there that contribute nothing but do it my twitter's open you got nothing to hide go for it garbage garbage but i'm kind of lazy so who knows so you, you won't you are lazy and you won't i promise you <laughs> i saw him accusing me that on on gg's live stream that i i would ever insult pete's like that no i wouldn't i wouldn't insult pete's like that um, Pete's is not smelly. It was my other roommate that I had, and his name was actually James, believe it or not. Um, but it was- Oh yeah, what a coincidence. <laughs> Does he happen to like My Little Ponies too? <laughs> Which I mean, I'm laughing because I also like My Little Pony. Okay, listen, I didn't get the name Unicorn Pondu for nothing, come on. It's mostly from his, uh, garlic bologna anyways. So anyways, yeah, this guy just like is so obsessed with me. Like his entire Twitter page is disgusting hate. You, I feel bad for you actually at this point, Michael B. Smelly, sweaty, smelly, because you just scream insecurity, like insecurity, mean girl. Like you're just, just so miserable with yourself. You just take it out on me all day. So I'm going to pray for you. Okay. You need it. Thank you. So <laughs> Only thing that... <laughs> This came from nowhere. <laughs> like, oh no, how dare you have an opinion about me on the Twitter? Oh no, what am, what am I gonna do? Oh no, but someone doesn't like me on the Twitter. Oh no, someone doesn't like me on Twitter. Oh no. 
Uh, good must wait. Well, I wanted to clarify that. That's one thing I definitely wanted to clarify. Pete's hair was filthy. Well, sometimes greasy hair, yeah, whatever, you know. But, like, he didn't, he didn't smell. Like, he, you know, this roommate I had before. But he's also said that she smells like blue cheese. Not ever shower. And he always had gross garlicky cold cuts. And they would just, yeah, it had to be there. So, yeah. So, I already touched on that. But, like, another thing I heard, I always hear people saying, like, apparently, so apparently, um, Yaba and Scam are striking people. Which, a lot of people are, you know, coming to me with saying, are you going to address that? How hypocritical of them? Because these morons these hateful morons have been using my image using me and my content all of it all of it they put their kids on the bus or whatever they do and then they fire up a live stream and they just completely fat shame they're horrible they're hateful they're disgusting people and for like hours my content they'll just play my entire streams all of my content whatever and now they're striking other creators like belinda and like whoever else i don't even know i don't know the whole tea but they're striking people um who are using their content or using their, their image in the thumbnail and people are like, so now that you know this, I thought you weren't going to address people anymore. Well, whatever. There's nothing else to talk about. So anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, basically, um, people are like, are you, what are you going to do about it? And I always get that. So I always get that. Well, you're the only person who can do something about FFG. You're the only person who can do something about these hate channels. And I have so many emails um, reaching out to YouTube. I strike them all the time for hateful content when it's hateful. I don't just go and strike channels randomly who talk about me um, or do parodies of me. Which I wouldn't be surprised if you did, to be honest, because you are definitely are that kind of Karen Chantal. Let's not be daft here. Or who um, people think that I don't do anything. Oh, I do. The thing is, is YouTube does nothing. <laughs> YouTube does nothing. So there's nothing unless you want to help me out, like people who are suggesting this and message me or email me. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But YouTube has, you know, when I reach out to YouTube directly. Whenever I hear, if you want to help me out, I, I can't, and to me, that sounds like she's kind of backwards, kind of incentivizing the, like her audience to go also like report people's videos, which I can only assume is not in the TOS at all. Probably against it more than anything else. When I reach out to my YouTube manager, who I keep ignoring because they're useless at this point, I don't care if you're watching, like, they ask, they reach out all the time. Can you set up a time to talk about how we can make your channel more successful? Well, you know, the problem I'm having- Okay, from what I've heard, that pretty much only applies to, like, memberships. Like, oh, how can we get your community to grow? How can we get more people to sign up for memberships? Yada, yada, yada. That's pretty much the only thing that they're really interested in. With YouTube is not, you know, what I want is somebody to do something about so many channels stealing my content and using it as hate content and making a hate community out of it. And they can't help with that. They're like, well, we have a very good reporting system. No, you don't. Your reporting system is crap. S-H-I-T. It's crap. Is that little mama? Yeah, this person, apparently, I don't know the full tea about it, but it's been talked about on many channels. Whenever little mama died, rest in peace, I don't want to bring her up. Like, to, I want to... She um, fired up a live stream the next morning. Um, and I heard that they, like, tried to find out. I don't know for sure. Maybe you guys can correct me. Tried to find out, like, if, if it was true. Like, investigating, like, calling. Didn't she, I don't know if she called the coroner. I don't know. Something like that. But you know, uh, talking about the validity of it, kind of like downing on the husband. Like you don't, it, you don't do that. It's just, it was gross anyways, the behavior. So, so yeah, these people have been bullying people online forever and ever and ever. And I mean, no matter how evil people are on the platform, um, they're always gonna have an audience, right? So, I mean, but some people are starting to see how gross and hypocritical they are. And one of those hypocritical things is the fact that they strike people, but for using, for using their content, but they use my content for years. That's all they've been doing. So it's like, I, I really don't get it. I, I, and I don't know what else to do. I cannot copyright strike them because copyright claiming is you have to have copyrighted content and I don't, right? And I'm not about to go and uh, get a lawyer and pay for copywriting uh, me rolling down a hill. You know what I mean? <laughs> so they're all the same exactly. And they all have the same audience. So yeah, I just wanted to bring that up because I get a lot of that, you know, criticism from people. And it's kind of like, it's true. Actually, I saw people commenting that too. Like, um, like even if it's so sad, I'm, I feel bad for you, Yabba and Scam, because even if you're not talking about me, you have to put a picture of me on your background like where my my overlook hotel is here they have to put me as a picture because otherwise people are just not going to be there they're, you know and, and even when she's there talking about someone else they're like we want to talk about foodie beauty so maybe i should be flattered i don't know but anyway you said you were going the legal route listen i definitely have a legal case definitely definitely against certain people the thing is is i have to be in canada so like i'm not i would be down for that again like we barely got to really enjoy it last time we ran back so fast <laughs> i'm not gonna upheave my life and you know, live in that negativity. Like, it's so, it can be so stressful going through a legal case. Are you kidding? I'm not going to go back to Canada just to go to court, you know, for this kind of thing right now. And just, just, no, I, I don't think I want to do that. But we'll see. I don't know what the future will hold. But for now, I'm just focused. I'm trying to focus on getting better, you know?
broken record content. I know. They'll never take them down. That's why you should do a reaction channel. It would be so entertaining. I know. People say, well, sh you don't do a reaction channel because you're not good at it. I know I can burn their asses on coal. I can do it. Trust me. It's okay, then do it. Do it. Like, Chantal, do you think we're over here jumping around, skipping around in daisies, doing twirls and cartwheels, being like, oh my gosh, Chantal went live. Let's see what she has doing. Oh my gosh. Wow, she's eating food again. It's more like, okay, wow. We're eating food. Yay. Wonderful. She's smoking. Woo. <laughs> it's not sunshines and rainbows, Chantal. Let me tell you that much. It's not hard work, but it's more like tedious. Oh my god, how much more of this do I have to listen to before I can actually have some sort of peace of mind? That's kind of like the vibe I'm going for. But I do it for you guys. You guys are worth it. Easy. The problem is, is I, I feel like I'm lowering myself to that level and like I'm becoming an immoral shitty person. Um or not a good Muslim when I'm talking about and gossiping about other people, you know? So unless I can find a way to do it that's like humorous, um, the problem is these people all don't have senses of humor about themselves. <laughs> you know, they they block. I mean, I can only really speak for myself here, but I can. Like, I understand why I do is weird and like my voice is kind of like, eh, I almost went with a voice changer when I first started, by the way, <laughs> if you guys wanted to know how much I dislike it. But people say that they like it and that's really nice. Thank you so much. And to be quite honest with you, if you can't laugh at yourself, like who can you make laugh? Honestly, like, I, I don't, I don't get it. They cry, you know, go in FFG's chat. You say one thing sideways about her. She's blocking you and dissing you on Twitter for like five days. So they just make a ton of assumptions and their audience takes it as gospel truth. I know, I know, I know. Like one of the, my questions in the Q&A had almost 700 likes and I know where those likes are coming from, zombies. Like, I don't know if they share brain cells when they join a, their, the live stream, like all 4,000 of them, you know? It's like, <laughs> but one of the questions was like, would you, they think that I'm living here by myself. That, that Salah has left me and I'm just living here by myself. Like, it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. And all you- Well, Chantal, to be fair, you said, we don't know what happens behind the scenes. We don't know what happens. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. okay then. Well, would it be out of the question to assume that he wouldn't be living there? If we don't know, then like, we have that right to speculate. And at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if that were the case. To do is exercise a little bit of critical thinking and boom, there you go. I mean, I don't know if, if, People just have rose colored glasses on. I mean, I know what that's like. And once it wears off, you're like, what the hell? When you see the truth, you see the truth. I don't know if that's going to happen. I mean, it's been years and people just assume that, you know, especially with me, they just think that people can never change. There's some things about me that haven't changed. Sure. I'm, yeah, I was about to say, like, you got to change before you can say that, like, you've changed and you've become such a better person. Da 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 da. Like, you got to do the work first, girl. And so far, you really haven't done much, if I'm being quite honest with you. But there's a lot that has, you know, specifically a lot of my life circumstances. You know what I mean? Um, the life circumstances that you yourself put yourself into, though? Okay. Sorry. Mobility scooter, no. <laughs> I don't, I mean, unless I become, like, disabled, like, to the point where I can't walk at all. I don't know. Thank you, Freya. I hope I feel better soon, too, because the pain is unbearable. Like, I was screaming okay uh this is why i mean by like if i jump around more than uh, i usually do like the only thing that she has to talk about other than like people on twitter and other things is um her sciatica which no thank you i don't know why this woman is so obsessed with me like honestly every single time i go live she's on my ass like do you not have a life like these people don't have a life they just wait for me to go li like i swear you have to be doing and i can only speak for myself it's more like oh she's live okay sure to me, at least, Chantal, you're not that important. It's more like, uh, okay, sure, why not? <laughs> and, like, another part of me is like, oh, my God, she's alive again. Why is she still alive again? Can I not have five minutes to myself? <laughs> nothing, like, what are the odds that you have nothing going on in your life every time I go live? Like, what, is it not middle of the day there right now? It's a Sunday. Do you not have a family day? <laughs> I mean, like... Okay, well, how about you worry about your family and we'll worry about ours? And to be quite honest with you, no, I don't. I'm quite boring. I really don't go out that much. And like, also, do you blame me because you can't even go to the store without being paranoid about quite literally everything here recently? And? <laughs> FFG2. She's another pathetic one who pretends to have a life. I put like a community, I put a community post up. You know me, impulsive. I take it down, what, 15 minutes later, not even an hour. And she's firing up a live stream about it. Like, who cares? You talk shit about me every day. I have a right to snap back once in a while. What do you expect? A warm hug? Like, obviously, I'm going to give you crap, guys, sometimes. Get a life. I mean, to be fair, she kind of does have a point. Like, everybody can make videos about her, but, like, she's not allowed to respond. Eh, bees and the bees, I suppose. 
uh, like <laughs> that don't just hit the space bar every two seconds and are not super petty or contrive things for drama or go real life. Like what the crap to Windsor the other day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that was wild <laughs> is there any reactors you're okay with i'm okay with reactors who are not dog crap like yo mama says like that don't just like uh, like <laughs> that don't just hit the space bar every two seconds and are not super petty or contrive things for drama or go real life like what would you think they don't have a way to make money otherwise well i mean how is that my problem you know it is my problem now it's not my fault you're not interesting enough girl Okay, then do a reaction if you're so full of spirit and personality and have so much to say. So why don't you make that reaction channel that you were threatening us with uh, a few days ago? Come on. <laughs> views on your life. You're, you're driving bees back from uh, Cornwall stalking me to Montreal. That's rough, especially when you're used to getting 30, 40. You know? I've never seen so many obsessed with one person they don't even know. I know. I know. I'm all set with reaction channels unless it's music. People are so mean and just plain rude. Yeah, really. Yes, your mom is more entertaining than personal attacks. Yeah, he like, he... If I were to do reactions, it would be like this, you know, it would be like something I would want it to be something like that, something like organized, something like not just attacking one person with stupid insults about their body um, every time about the same things, you know, like he has talking points and he makes valid arguments and he points out things. You know what I mean? Like the, the Gore World community is extremely hypocritical and I'm glad that there's at least somebody. There's a few people that, that re you know, realize that, but everyone is too um, cowardly to call these people out. It's like it's worse than high school like it's literally have you whenever you were in high school do you guys remember these evil these mean cliques of clicks of like is it clique or click i don't know these groups of teenage girls that were just like you know nobody wanted to say anything against them even if they were in the wrong they would just they, they would just they had a bunch of yes men around them all the time and like you know they could never do any wrong and it was just horrible it, it's just that's how it is that's how it is that's what gore world is so that's the thing some people have it some people don't some people are entertaining some people are not and a lot of these people you know, like I said, have like, like just breeze in, have the personality of a communion wafer. And, but they try to, to get on the bandwagon and do what everyone else is doing. And they know that the more hateful they are, the more, you know, they make up stupid shit, like saying that he was like, what is this? I saw this. <laughs> I didn't even touch on this, but apparently she was talking to a troll who was entertaining her dumbass for so long, thinking that Salah was uh, messaging someone from Thailand and they're, you know, <laughs> so stupid. So this is the kind of crap they come up with when you don't. I'm still waiting for those receipts from Pam. <laughs> have a personality you don't have the intelligence to make up a valid argument and you can't make talking points for yourself you have to just parrot all these other hateful pieces of crap and i actually feel bad for people who have to rely on that to make money you know you can't just be yourself you have to be a mean hateful parrot of everyone else to make a dime on here and who knows when your day will come not really i mean unless if she really makes i mean only speaking for myself here wanted to clarify that again but i mean unless if it's something like she's really pissed me off like i it's like okay like, oh no, Chantel's fat. Oh no, Chantel's eating a lot of food. Oh no, wow, it's not like this has not been the content for like almost a decade now. Ooh. It's pretty obvious and I just skip right over it because like, who cares at this point? <laughs> almost a decade now, it's pretty obvious what the content's gonna be. Gorlick Breath is already demonetized. Maybe he'll get it back, who knows, but it's like a matter of time for these channels. They keep becoming more and more hateful. They keep doing more and more real life crap and something's gonna give. I mean, if you think that karma doesn't apply to you but only to me and everyone else you're insane and you have another thing coming and it will be bad when it does you know yeah they're conspiracy theories okay what's the worst one you've heard oh he already has it back really but even him like he's obsessed in a weird way like he comes up with the dumbest shit um and his voice is unbearable but i mean he doesn't use all my content so i guess that's something you know those reactors are the ones bringing all the attention to you and giving you the subs be thankful for that keep them coming <laughs> i guess there's that way gemini gem i guess because i do get a lot of people who say i found you from a reaction channel but then those people if they think they have the nerve to say you need us we don't need you literally go look at their channel there's not uh, maybe one or two videos that are not about me so if i'm not on this platform what are you going to do for content more drives from my uh, i mean find someone else maybe do gaming i've been thinking about maybe doing like gaming live streaming because i've been watching a lot of people do like twitch stuff and i've been watching a lot of twitch i'm like oh yeah that seems like fun i have a gaming computer i could do that i mean like why not i don't know is that something that you guys would like like i just let me know i have a playstation i have a and pretty decent gaming computer could probably throw something together i have a capture card i don't know i guess we'll see Montreal for 2k views let's be real like your i am your content like there's no way your channel would survive like nobody cares oh yeah there was, okay i remember what like my other point was Chantal, if it was not for reaction channels covering you whenever you actually went down with your channel remember right before cuba like nobody would care like, do you honestly God think trolls are going to be paying 5, 10, 15, 20, whatever the case might be for like a Patreon or like OnlyFriends, wink, wink, nudge, nudge content?
Like, truly, honestly, no. The reactors are going to be paying that 5 to 20 whatever it was, and, like, and making a very short video and, like, to be like, hey, this is what's going on behind the scenes, if you guys don't know, because it's not that serious. If it was not for the reaction channels, you would have pretty much just faded into irrelevancy, if I'm being quite honest with you. Nobody cares enough, because the audience is very specific with FFG and Yava, for example. It's all scorned people from my former chat or people who are just super like big haters they have all my haters concentrated in one chat right because they won't get blocked there you know well i mean to be fair chantal after months if not years of you blocking every single person that had an opinion about you that you yourself didn't like no matter how mean and slash or like uh constructive it might have been after a while, yeah, they're probably going to go be looking somewhere else. I mean, you have the right to, like, choose and pick whoever's in your chat. Okay, sure. But, like, whenever they go, you know, looking the opposite direction to have an opinion about you that you don't like, well, it's not like you gave them an option to begin with. Consequence, if you think that the same cackling and, like, grade 5 insults is funny, then you're one of them. And unfortunately, there's a lot of people with low intelligence that find that kind of humor funny. It's tasteless. It's dog shit. <laughs> it is. I'm sorry. Like, not all the time. I don't watch reaction channels all the time. There's a big time difference and just, you know... But, but like, I thought that you didn't watch reaction channels, though. But, like, now all of a sudden, no, 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 no. I'm watching reaction channels, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I like that, that people can formulate their own thoughts and don't just listen to... I mean, I don't know how credible anything is that these, some of these people say anymore. Everything they want, they just want to try to, like, continually ruin my image. Like, that's why I found it funny when the friggin' Kaya was like, You're not gonna ruin my image. What image? You don't have a good image. You, you have no personality. You ruined your own image. You have no image to ruin. Um, you know, that's like, I don't get it. It's the same thing with Swordfish. Like, you lied about me, blah, blah, blah. No, like, I didn't lie about anything. You ruined your own image. Like, you, what kind of past do you have? But, you like, what about, like, the police report, though, that you said that you pretty much um, heavily fabricated, right, or something along those lines, or was, like, not 100% truthful about it, though? What about that, then? Which is really kind of sad, though. I believe Sabby over her. Take that what you will. I don't know. It's just like we've been lied to so much about with her. She's lied so much. I believe him kind of by default over her. And that's kind of sad. Stop people. P.S. I don't like him. I wanted to also clarify. I don't like him. No. Another piece of garbage. Like people. Same thing with D.D. Mega Doodoo as well. Blame me for their. You know what I mean? Like she's like, you're going to ruin my image. You try to ruin my image every live stream you do, lady. And click your nails. Stop clicking your nails. I want to like just cut out my eardrums and it's not just me there's so many people coming out came, who came after her for what happened with her weird with her lover and but she just focuses on me saying it you know like i don't know clackety those clackety nails you see them on the i'm misbehaving on on tiktok as well you know the ones that are like super long i don't know how people live like this and they make like girly how do you think your mukbangs are to be fair how do you think your mukbangs are? Do you think you're, oh my gosh, I'm so dainty. Oh my gosh, hi guys. So today what we're going to be doing is eating food. Yes, right? I was in the park and I walked. Hello. <laughs> they make their own uh, coffee on TikTok and they have these long nails with all these harms on them. Nails are just getting more and more outrageous. I get so angry I can't listen. I'm only watching them all. And now. let people on TikTok have their prerogative if they want to have fancy, flashy, long nails. You don't have to watch. You can keep scrolling, yet you're complaining about it. Come on. Me too. I can't stand it. Even if it's not about me, I can't stand it. Like, I can't stand listening to pure hatred and petty drama. I, I can't. Okay, so I guess Chantal was not present for Cuba Rage then. That's something I thought I would have never had to say out loud. But yeah, she wasn't there, guys. She hates pure <laughs> hatred. And that's just one of many, let me tell you. Yeah, so I, I don't want to, um, I don't want to, like, lower myself to the point where I'm, like, playing their streams, which, you know what? I could easily play, let's, for example, one of FFG streams because it's my effing video. So, <laughs> so, yeah, I could if I wanted to, but I don't want to lower myself to that kind of low quality, like, waste my life on that and just hit the space bar and say, you know, like, hear her make a comment about my chin and then pause it and go, ma'am, you have 12. You know, like, that kind of thing. It's just so stupid. Um, and it's just low, low energy. Like, it's just the worst kind of negative energy you can put yourself into. Um, oh my gosh, guys, it's such a low negative energy, even though I've been completely just complaining this entire live stream about other people. It's just like negative energy though, guys. Shut I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. I don't. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thanks, Dan. Yeah, focus on health, not the internet. No, definitely I have to focus on health. I also have to focus on the internet because the internet's my job, right? So it's not like this is just a hobby for me. Um, it's not. But yeah, I, I just don't don't want to uh, become something I can't stand, basically. You know? I, I hate when people compare me to her. Like, you're, you're, you're her Fooey Beauty 2.0. How are we the same other than being fat? Like, I don't cackle like a witch and make fun of people on my entire channel. I don't stalk people at dispensaries. You know what I mean? People are also allowed to grow and become different people and better people. You know, I would never chug a bottle of uh, Wayne Goretzky li liquor anymore and just be down in the dumps and be a complete idiot. Like, that's not me anymore, you know? I've done some really stupid shit when I was drunk, for sure. I cannot not believe that after this long of time... Um, when do I ever talk about this person on my channel? When? Never. I never talk about that person, if you can call it that. Um, they're still talking about me, though. Yeah. It's pathetic. I, I, I don't, I never think of this person. I hate them. I can't believe I ever, ever, ever was with a person like that. And... Um, well, you weren't, to be fair. Maybe for a week, sure, at most, but, like, you weren't together, Chantal. Is she seriously that delulu as to think that she's actually, like, at, was actually in a relationship with Stabby? I still think that we are. Okay, great. Love that for us. Yay. <laughs> you know, never, never. Um, and I, I remember somebody keeps pointing out, uh, I saw a couple comments and they were like, oh, sure, you know, in your Q&A, you said that you never were with somebody that, um, ruined your life. They potentially could have, but they didn't. My life is, life is not ruined. That's what I meant by it. When your mama says your sisters, yeah, we're definitely not. <laughs> we're very different people. But anyway, no one's perfect on the internet. So calling out others imperfections and downfalls and being virtue signalers when you have so many skeletons in your own closet is just a moot point. I really don't understand it. Yeah, I don't get the vibe you want uh, swordfish at all anymore. I'm literally married, you know? If I didn't love the person I was with, I wouldn't be here. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't get that. I don't get that. I don't get people who say, you know, we're, we're never intimate. When I went from a life very intimate to one that's not, that doesn't make any sense. Nothing that they ever say. Well, Chantal, I mean, to be fair, the only thing that they really have to do is just publicly be like, yeah, this is my wife. And you can be like, oh my gosh, this is my man. Where's your man? Where's your ring? Where's your couple of channel loops? <laughs> Anyways. Nothing they say makes sense. And that's what I'm saying. With a little bit of critical thinking, you can realize yourselves, zombies, I'm speaking to you, that, uh, you know, <laughs> there's nothing there. There's a big nothing burger of crap. You want to talk about crap? You're so obsessed with crap. Um, that's it. Yeah. You know, but there's been sometimes I was really low on food and I still had the Hello Fresh, and I was like kind of thankful for it. <laughs> like, okay. okay with that being said there's not that much left and i doubt that she can say anything that's going to be revolutionary i'm sure <laughs> but with that being said though thank you guys so much for watching and i suppose i'll see you guys in the next one bye